welcome to my oily skin fix series where we talk about issues regarding oily skin and also ways to control them of course you guys know everybody has a skin type whether you're oily skin combination skin dry skin and I know most times you know people that have dry skin always wish they have oily skin while people that have oily skin sometimes wish they have dry skin like of course we can never have it all so you guys with the right techniques and also the right products you'll be able to control your oily skin. So today's video is going to be on how to keep your makeup matte all day. You guys, if you wear makeup, especially if you have an oily skin, you know it's a hassle to keep your makeup on all day. Like seriously, you guys, like me, myself, whenever I have makeup on, I just give myself probably like an hour or two, you know, depending on which um, foundation I have on. I just give myself latest like three hours. I start producing oil. Like normally when I start producing oil, I just produce it right here on my nose and also the sides of my cheek and you know on my t-zone and then the rest of my face just remains smart you guys like seriously it can be really really frustrating you know whenever we talk about issues regarding the skin i always start off with skincare because skincare is very very vital like i feel like when you have a very nice skincare routine you know every other thing falls into play and there is this belief that especially with people that have oily skin there's this belief that since you're already producing oil you don't need to put any other thing that contains oil on your face Face, which is been proving that you know for oily skin you have to moisturize you have to you know add a lot of moisture on your face when you have oily skin you know I know that belief like nobody with oily skin wants to add any other thing on their face but yeah you have to moisturize you have to take care of your skin and when it comes to moisturizing you guys of course I have products right here which I can't wait to share with you guys but when it comes to moisturizing the face I love this product right here you guys know I'm obsessed with acne.up products if you don't know I used to have chronic acne and this skincare line really helped me a lot it comes in three different skincare um, regime this one is the mo this one is the moisturizer it has the cleanser the, the treatment and then the moisturizer and I really do love this moisturizer it doesn't leave that like oily oily effect on the skin I also have this um, moisturizer right here and this one is from Glogenics and I totally I absolutely love this moisturizer like sometimes you know I just leave this one to rest while you know I always use this one I love this moisturizer from Glogenic they have moisturizers everywhere the drugstore Sephora Ulta you know so you just walk in there and check any of the moisturizers that will fit into what you need it for and then the second um, step I have when it comes to keeping your face matte all day is please you guys when we're talking about oily skin please try as much as possible to to run away from anything dewy like anything luminous dewy um hydrating like you guys know what i'm talking about especially like with foundation with your setting powder because of course you're already producing oil and you don't want anything that will add to your oil production and when it comes to foundation i have these three foundations right here and these are completely matte foundations and of course i have my all-time favorite which is the Kat Von D Lucky Tattoo foundation i totally absolutely love this foundation because it's matte finish and also it gives a very nice full coverage like this right here it's my holy grail and then the next foundation I have here is this one I just started using this foundation I would say like two or three months ago and I've been really really obsessing over this foundation I totally love it because it's completely matte like when you put it on there is no room for oil like there is no you know how sometimes when you apply your foundation you can see like some oil you know mixed with the foundation there is nothing like that once you apply this foundation right here, your whole face is completely matte. Of course, you guys know this infallible pro matte. Like seriously, you guys, this foundation, this really do remind me of this foundation because it's just the same texture, the same um, pigmentation, the, the same, the very same way, you know, I feel when I have this foundation on. And that's exactly how I, I feel when I have this foundation on. It's totally mattifying. And this also reminds me of the Becca, um, Becca foundation. I would advise you check out this foundation if you're on that budget because it's almost the same thing with the high end and of course when we're talking about foundation I know I'm supposed to mention primers first but for some reason I just dived into the foundation but you guys like before you put on your foundation you definitely need some type of a base you know primers serve as a base between your skin and the makeup so you guys I would always advise you know you apply a primer primers are very very essential when we're talking about you know controlling your oily skin or when you want to have your makeup matte 
all day you just need to prime your skin and also when we're talking about primers just like foundation we have different types of primers but I always would advise you go for a mattifying primer like this one right here this primer from Becca is my holy grail apart from the fact that you know it leaves some type of like white residues on the face that is just one thing that pulls me away from this primer this is my favorite primer because it just helps to control the production of oil like whenever i have this primer under my foundation it takes me quite a while you know before i start seeing um oil peep you know peep through my foundation and also when you apply your primer try as much as possible to press it into the skin don't just rub it you know on the surface of the skin you have to push it you have to push it down you know your pores i used to make this mistake a lot you know I just apply the primer no you're supposed to push it right into the skin so you know it won't just be hanging on the surface of the skin so apart from the Becca I also have this right here and this one is from the drugstore is the Rimmel um, stay matte primer this one also it's a mattifying primer and whenever I'm not reaching out for this I always find myself reaching out for this primer right here because it's mattifying like this right here once you have it once you apply it on on your face you will notice that your face automatically turns into matte like it shrinks it's almost like it doesn't it's not in a, in a bad way but it, it like shrinks the face like seriously you guys I really do love this primer a lot whenever I want to have you know my makeup matte all day I always you know opt for this primer this primer right here surprised me the very first time I used it you guys like seriously I had I believe I had my foundation for hours you know before I started producing oil so I would also advise you check out this primer so another way you can actually have your makeup matte all day is by using like seriously you guys this product right here I remember when it was a staple product on YouTube like everywhere you turn around people were using this product and it's amazing I believe this is actually like the, the cheapest and the most effective way of controlling oily skin of like keeping your makeup matte all day milk of magnesia yes you guys and also you can actually use this as a facial mask you can use it like two times a week i normally love to use this just you know apply it all over my face leave it for probably like 25 30 minutes and wash it up it just helps to you know tighten up the pores i really do love this and another way to keep your makeup mask all day is by blotting i know you know previously i always like used to neglect blotting my face i always feel like it's a lot of work just you know just blotting the face like seriously you guys but it really do help especially when you use a mattifying blotting shade it just removes the oil you know on the surface of the skin without like tampering with your makeup and i have three different blotting shades right here i have this one from clean and clear and i absolutely love it it's you know an oil absorbing shade so it comes just like this it comes in this um blue form so you just you know whenever I just need it I pull it out you just simply dab it wherever you're producing oil and that way it will absorb any oil you know on the face but still leaving your makeup looking flawless I just love to push the blotting sheet right into the into my my skin so you know it will pull up any oil that is still remaining inside my pores and I also have this one from NYX and this one is actually the matte one I believe they have like different types of blotting shades so you have to know which one you're looking for of course if you have an oily skin I would advise you use a matte one you guys and then the very last blotting shade I have here is this cute one from I believe this one is from Momo Up and I love this one this right here is you know very very fancy so I always love to have it inside my pores like whenever I have oil on my face I just pull it out draw it out as you all can see and with this one you can control like how much of the blotting sheets you want on, on like you know this ones that you know they come in a very small form and of course if you don't have any of these blotting sheets at hand you can always use the good old paper towel like seriously you guys I actually sometimes I actually prefer using my paper towel to blot oil on my face because like seriously you guys look at this this is huge like you don't need to spend time using pieces and pieces of the blotting sheets like seriously sometimes if I'm I'm not in the mood to start pulling out my blotting sheets one after the other I just prefer to use this right here just as you all can see it covers all my face like seriously you just need to blot once and all the oil is gone and then when you blot your face and feel like you need to touch up I would always advise you use a translucent powder 
like seriously you guys this right here have been saving me for such a long time because I remember back then I always used to like go back in with my powder to like refresh my face and it always left my face with like patches and especially when you contour and highlight like seriously it's not the same powder you used on your highlight side you know you used on the rest of the skin so I always find myself looking some type of way whenever I use my setting powder to like refresh my face so if you feel like you need to touch up your face you just need to use a translucent powder and translucent means that it doesn't have any color so it just you know will help just touch up the skin refresh your skin without it like having any color to the skin and I find this one to be my favorite like this right here is my holy grail using an eyeshadow primer you know on the areas where you produce oil the most actually helps in controlling oil production on those areas and I've actually used this primer right here and this one is from Smashbox I feel like um, any primer that has a thick consistency to it will work like it's not only restricted I also have this primer right here and this one is a MAC laying low you can actually use paint pots laying low anyone but like I've used the um, Smashbox photo finish lip primer because it has somewhat like a thick consistency I just use it you know just dab it especially on my nose and this area right here and then I make sure I blend it in like push it into my skin before then going in with my foundation and it helped like seriously you guys it controlled my oil for such a long time like I believe I wore my makeup the day I tried this one I believe I wore my makeup for like four hours without even a single oil on my on my nose and also you know the sides of my nose so you guys this really do work and the last thing you have to do when you want to keep your makeup matte all day is after you're done applying your makeup you have to go in with a setting spray. I believe they have different types of setting spray but I would always advise you use a mattifying setting spray. A spray that will help you know keep your makeup matte. I have this one right here and it's from Model in a Bottle and this one is their makeup setting spray. This one is the matte finish. I absolutely love this setting spray right here but like seriously you guys the one that I've been using recently that I absolutely love. I, I've actually had a lot of reviews um, on this product right here and it's the Benai Final Seal. Oh my gosh you guys I wonder where I've been ever since this product came out because I've used a lot of setting spray but there is no setting spray that came you know like that can even match up with this one right here the Benai Final Seal. This right here will keep your face matte all throughout the day like depend if you want to wear your makeup for 24 hours this right here will lock up your makeup and just like tighten it up with everything like seriously you guys I don't know how to explain it but this right here and you just need to spray just a little bit I normally like spray like four pumps I love to you know just make sure I distribute it everywhere like my sides my forehead my chin just make sure you know I spray it like four in four different directions on my face this right here is the master is the head is the queen is the king of all setting sprays try it out and let me know what you think and yeah guys I believe that is it for this video I know I said seriously like one million times but it's just a habit please you guys pardon me but yeah I hope you all found this video helpful and you were able to pick one or two things when it comes to keeping your face matte all day like I know I know I know how annoying it can be when it comes to you know having an oily skin but you guys once you have the right techniques and the right products of course you can you know control the amount of oil you produce yeah you guys I hope you all enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section if you have any concerns you know when it comes to oily skin because I want to make this right here you know like a series where we talk about different things when it comes to oily skin because like seriously I used to be so so mad at my oily skin but thank God you know with the right products and also the right techniques I've been able to like just keep it at bay of course you can't get rid of oily skin but you can as well control it yeah guys I hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video I will see you all very very soon